Hello, teacher. Hello, guys. You are finally able to enter, huh? Yeah, but you have to use the the access code and the password. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Maybe sometimes it's for Zoom. Sorry about that. Sometimes Zoom requires or has some weird issues. Yes, if you <clears throat> if you're trying to 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 in to in to get in, mm -hmm. uh, you have to push to you have to to use your 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 email and in your email uh, in the inbox mm -hmm. send you a message with a password that's super strange yeah i don't know why I mean, i've never happened that and have you has anybody else ever had that happen uh, i think Yes, because Dennis, I think so, he cannot be able to to inside. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Are uh, what are we talking about? About the issue with the joining the meeting? Mm, correct. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's strange. Stranger because um, actually, whenever you click, I think that that was the, the thing that you were mentioned um javier whenever you click on the link from from the email it takes you to another to another website and this time it was showing kind of different so in this case in uh, this time you had to click on the link to join the meeting but like the other time before today uh, it, it, it was sending me directly to to the to the meeting to the app I'm sorry, it was opening the app directly. So I'm, I'm not sure what's, what happened. Okay. Yes. Well, I'm glad that we were able to solve it and we didn't we didn't lose <coughs> day and only a few minutes. So that's the great that's the great thing. All right, guys. So today, as you remember, um, we are going to have presentations. We're going to have one minute presentations. Before we do that, we're going to watch a little bit about a video of how to describe a city maybe in case you forget or want to include some of the things it will help you in the following video okay okay all right this video is super short it's only just a little reminder to help you when you are speaking this is the video from 3.4 on what makes a city hi let's go over some words which will help you talk a little bit about your city Describing a city, architecture, cuisine, customs, festival, historical sites, nightlife, scenery, shopping. Remember, those are just a few of the things that you can mention also about your city. If you forget or if you have more time, you can always talk about the food or a specific custom like in Nahapa that I mentioned about the Fireball Festival or a historical site like in um, San Juan Opico where there, is, there are temples or things like that, scenery or shopping. These are just a few more in case you don't have enough information or if you still have time left over to talk about the city. What are some important features for you? Talk to your classmates and teacher about the ideal place for you to live in. Try to use the words just learned. Excellent. So instead of talking about places to live in, ours are going to be presentations of places to visit. All right, guys. Are we ready for tonight? Yes. Woo. Yes. Yes, right. teacher. You sound, you sound so happy to be in English class on Friday night. Woo. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I believe it. I I understand. I understand. So, all right, guys, as you know, I always have my timer. Uh, we have to have one minute minimum. Uh, 16 sentences is the objective. Remember, the idea is to have good fluency. Not only speak one minute, but speak fluently in one minute. So who would like to be the first volunteer, the brave person to say, I can do it? Rafael, wow, I never imagined. That's so, wow, congratulations to Rafa. Hey, all right, Rafa. Thank you for being the first brave volunteer. Excellent, Rafa. <laughs> 
Okay. Good okay. Uh, good evening. Go ahead. I'm going to talk about island of Tasajera. Do you know where it is? No. No. It's located in municipality of Herradura, Department of La Paz. Is um, exactly opposite of the end of, of Costa del Sol. It is a small and beautiful island where you can only get there by boat and sand. Uh, you can, uh, uh, there, there is an informal food and you can get there a uh, meat, cocktail, ceviches, fry, fi fry fish. The nice thing is that you can put an umbrella in the line of the beach and you can uh, get swimming, you can uh, ski. All right. That is the time. Very nice. Very nice. Great job, Rafa. I appreciate it. I have never been to that place, um, but I, I appreciate you mentioning it. Uh, only The only thing we have to work on, Rafa, good pronunciation, is that fluency. When it, The next time we want to practice to be able to express more sentences faster. But great job. The okay, next, thank you. It is near La Costa del Sol, you said. Yes, it's near La Costa del Sol. Mm -hmm. You can only get there by boat and sand, but the other, the other way. Um, it's a nice place. Okay. Many people, many people meet in there, and many people get. Uh, many people. Llevar. Take. Take. Mm -hmm. Many people take beers, music. The people play football, volleyball. Okay. Hey, well, one day we have. I have to check it out. It sounds like a nice place to relax. You yes. Know? Nice beach. Nice beach. Rafa, since you were the first volunteer, you have the power to select the next volunteer. <laughs> Let me see. Evelyn. Okay. Excellent choice. Excellent choice. <laughs> Evelyn was ready. Okay, Evelyn. Uh, I have the yes, timer. One minute minimum. Are you ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, Evelyn, go. Okay, I want to talk about Ilopango Lake. Uh, this stunning lake is near the capital of San Salvador. It's located on the borders of, of San Salvador, La Paz, and Cuscatlan Department. Ilopango Lake is the largest lake in El Salvador of volcanic origin and is perfect for uh, doing uh, different activities such as diving, uh, swimming, fishing, uh, jet skiing, among others. In addition, uh, you can go hiking, uh, horse riding, and camping. Moreover, uh, you have the option of uh, spending a night and rent uh, a hotel or a hostel or a local, uh, uh, like, a, like a small hut. And in the surrounding area, you can observe uh, a variety of restaurants uh, and you can have, uh, you can enjoy different kinds of cuisine. All and, right, oh, very nice, very nice, Evelyn. I really appreciate it. Hey, Evelyn, very nice pronunciation, pretty good fluency. Most of it was really good. A few small pauses, like you forgot the word. Uh, some moment <laughs> you were like, oh, I, I. And, and then, <laughs> but, then, but then you got the word again, and then you continue. Great job, great recovery. Continue doing it. Just be careful with those few little words that sometimes ah, stop you from having that excellent fluency. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I will try. <laughs> Excellent, Evelyn. Excellent. All right. Ilopango Lake, I have been to. That, yes, I've been there a couple of times, so no problem. Who's the yeah. next one, Evelyn? Who's the next person? Um. Okay, uh, Patricia. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. She's ready. Thank okay. you. You ready, Patricia? Okay. Yes. I'm going to tell you about the Department of La Paz. It is a place where there is uh, in 
an international airport called Monsignor Oscar Arnulfo Romero. The department is situated uh, nearby the by the Pacific coast of uh, and has some beautiful beach like the Costa del Sol. He, uh, here we can find several restaurants and different hotels that offer a great gastronomy and um, you will want to enjoy a great time outside with your family and friends and stay more time. <laughs> this department also you can find a touristic place called Ichamiche and Manantiales de Jiboa. They both are pretty good for spending time outside. Come on and enjoy them. <laughs> Ooh, all right, but it's going to be in the in the news reporter, right? Hey, and come on to us. Yeah. Right. All right, good ending, very nice. Thank you. Uh, Patti, I want to say congratulations. It's very nice that you included many things in your description. Many, not just mm -hmm. one area, but you you try to include um, many different little places like the airport and other activities. So that was interesting. Yeah. Thank you, Patti, appreciate that. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Patti, the only grammar mistake you had, the only mistake was, please be careful that whenever you use models, uh, you can, you may, you must, any model, the verb is in the present tense. No, you you can visit it. No, you can visit. Always, always, sure. all the models, the verbs, you can visit, you must visit, you should visit, all of them, the verb in present. Okay, Only thank one you. mistake, but good job. Good job, Patti. All right. Patti, who's next? Who's next? We still have four more volunteers. Uh, uh, Nicole. Nicole, yeah, she's waiting. She's waiting. She's like, no, I want to. I want to go now. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to talk about El Tunco. El Tunco Beach is the most emblematic surf destination in El Salvador. It is named El Tunco because of a huge rock halfway submerged on its beach with the shape of a pig. El Tunco is visited by hundreds of local and foreign tourists weekly. This beach wasn't always a tourist attraction since back in the 70s and 80s, was just a little town. El Tunco is a nightlife place where you can visit different bars or restaurants and you can enjoy a good night out with your friends at a beautiful beach. It is located just seven kilometers west of El Puerto de la Libertad. El Tunco is a place where you can breathe cosmopolitan air and it has become a must go for surfer for international surfers. A curious fact I want to share is that every time my cousins come from the US, we do a cousins night out and we go to El Tunco. We got some time left. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Nico, you 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 say, oh my God, only two TikToks. But wow, when you have to present, it's a long time, right? <laughs> well, I have to say though, Nico, I love the fact of you describing El Tunco, all of the things that there are to do there. I also like that personal touch, the fact that you, hey, you know what? Also, I go there. Not only I recommend, but I go there with this and this. Great job. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. All right, Nicole, who's the next person? Who's the next one? Um, let me see. Dennis. Dennis. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm gonna talk about a place, uh, my one of my favorite place in El Salvador. Uh, actually, um, Evelyn talked about the Ilopango Lake. But well, that's my my presentation. So it is located like um well from my house is like eight kilometers um from from San Salvador City is like twenty kilometers. So with traffic you may do like um fifty minutes. Well, actually that's what maps shows. Uh is like four hundred forty two meters. Um, above sea level and I will highly recommend two places in specific Apulo and San Agustin. My favorite is uh, San Agustin because it has the most beautiful beach so the water is very clear 
In both places, you may find um, fish hatchery and you may purchase fresh fish. So it's delicious if you want to cook or there is something else that the local people, okay? All right, Dennis, thank you very much. I really appreciate it, Dennis. Uh, I think we you're doing a pretty good job. We can do better. I, only by organizing your ideas so that you can get uh, started your presentation faster. It seems like at the beginning you were trying to figure out, oh, I was going to talk about and mention, and then you tried to organize all your ideas. And then after you began, ah, it started to go better and better. So I think that's a great idea. Um, good that you mentioned it. I didn't know that uh, there was another place, San Agustin. I have never been to that place. Um, I've only Beautiful. Been, uh, to Apulo. Is the same entrance? No, no. The San Agustin entrance is in San Martin. It's located on, on like, let's see, like kilometer 21 of the Panamer Panamericana Highway. Okay. Um, but but the street is not the is not is is not better than the Apulo Street. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I used to live in San Martin. I lived in San Martin for 10 years. So that's why I'm surprised that I never I never heard of San Agustin. And I thought, wow, you know, sometimes you live in a little bubble and you don't realize all the beautiful things around you. Okay. It's not much. It's not too much popular, but that's why the beach is really beautiful. It's like a virgin beach. Oh, I have to go there. I have to go. Yeah. All right. Thank you for the recommendation. Appreciate it. Who is next, well, Dennis? We have uh, who's next? We have Selena and we have Javier. Let's go, Selena. Who Javier? That means you have to give the best presentation in the class. <laughs> All right, Selena. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good evening, everybody. I want to talk about one super nice place. Um, his name is Icacal. Um, this located in, in, in Tipuca, La Union. I remember that, that I was, uh, six years ago, I think. And I, to enjoyment with my, my friend, my best friend, Enasi, and my niece. And why enjoyment so much the water? Uh, I were, were there only two years, I think. Um, Two years, two days, <laughs> and and we were we were um 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 we enjoy the the fresh garden and transparent garden. I liked so much, and we can hear a uh, uh, birds, uh, variety birds, and we also <laughs> okay okay. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Great. <laughs> Excellent. I love your attitude. I love the smile when you're speaking. Thank you very much, Selena. Um, great job. Remember that whenever you're describing a memory, uh, always you must use the past tense. So no, we can hear, we could hear. We could always, you want to use the past tense or only we heard. Um, what was the name of the place, Selena? It's Icacal. It's a uh, which a uh, uh, pretty beach. Okay. And, yeah. And where is where is this? Icaca, where is in? It's on in Tipuca, La Union. Okay. It's so far. Yeah. But it's a beautiful beach. Okay. Ica, Ica, you know, I have I have to say that this is <laughs> this is probably the most not what I've spoken in years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Those, two, those two plays. I I'm trying to look for it right now. I'm trying to find it in in internet, but I don't even think I can spell it correctly because it doesn't come out. You say, yeah. Ica cow. Ica. Cal. The the icaco. Icaco. The fruit okay. of okay. El Salvador. Yeah. Okay, and it's in where? In in Tipuca La Unión, in Tipuca. Tipuca. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I look for it. Ah, okay. It's Cerro, <laughs> Cerro el Icacao. It's a mountain. No. No. It's a beach. 
It's a beach. Okay, I, I'm going to look for it. I have it's, it, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a place and uh, we stayed there uh, two days and, and that place is the, the best part that I, that I like it. Uh, is the cheaper the room for sleeping <laughs> is mm -hmm. is cheaper but it's so far and, uh, and maybe when you uh, when you ah. will go okay when you will go you have to use a old terrain car mm -hmm. because the the street is bad okay yeah okay i found it i found i found uh, <laughs> I, I found what it is on uh, on google so now i'm gonna try all right uh, okay 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 now ladies and gentlemen for the best presentation of tonight the most amazing the best the most fluent and most energetic javier all right javier you have your presentation <laughs> javier all right okay <laughs> okay good evening is my is my pleasure to 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 come to telling you some information of san sonate this is where i live we have a different kind of, of food and places to visit in your vacations. Uh, is one of the smallest departments, but is the is this this is the fact what is a place makes super special because you have hills, cold weather, different kind of food, uh, steaks, and you have less than forty five minutes. You, you can ride in your motorcycle or a bus or a car and less than 45 minutes, you can be in, in, in the beach. We have all the, the close part of, of El Salvador, of the better beaches that you, you can find in this country. You have different kind of food, uh, sopa de gallina, uh, cocktails, different kind of food. And if you want to visit, Playa El Almendro, I can show you for a low cost. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love it, Javier. I love it. I love how you put at the end that little, mm, hey, there's the, the mentality. Hey, if you want to be, hey, I have tourists. I make money. I can sell. No problem. Yeah, for sure. Semana Santa is closer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Great job. Guys, I have to say congratulations to all of you. This is what I love. I love to share and learn from each of you the same day way that you learn from me. I learned from you. And I hope that the other partners as well, because we had many different places that some places, I have to be honest, I never, never even heard the name, like the one uh, the, from La Union uh, eh, or even San Agustin. Wow, these places, they are so close to San Salvador and never I visited. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting. No, go ahead. Uh, Playa El Almendro, search it. It's a virgin beach in, in, in El Salvador. Now it's protected by Marn, I think so. Really? But it's so a wonderful place. Okay. And in that, in that beach, uh, you can have a lagoon. In the, in, the, in, the, in the beach, you can imagine that. Search it. I, I will. I will. I put it in here. That's the one near Acajutla, right? Yes, it is in Acajutla. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, all right. Well, great. Uh, like I said, great job. Uh, I think we all have uh, our plans, places that we can visit and get to know in El Salvador. And that's the idea. The idea is the same for when you would want to describe different cities. Today, the next activity is a little bit of listening. We are going to listen to other people like you describing. We're going to talk about here, Carlos and Vicky talk about San Francisco. So we're going to listen to people talking about San Francisco. Now they're also going to compare San Francisco. We're going to listen and want to answer who likes San Francisco more, Carlos or Vicky. Okay. What are the features that they talk about? I mean, what is the topic or things that they mention about the place. Who likes to take pictures, right? Which of the two enjoys more the nightlife, the night person, okay? Which one likes to live in San Francisco? So we're gonna listen and then we're gonna answer those five questions. 
Are you ready? Ready? Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs> All right. Yes, teacher. Let's, do it. Yes, teacher. Let's listen and answer. Okay. Listen to Carlos and Vicky talk about San Francisco. Who seems to like the city better? Hi, guys. Hi. Hiya. Thanks for agreeing to meet me here on such short notice. No problem. Well, listen, as I said to you on the phone, I'm doing a story for a magazine. I'm interviewing foreign students to get their impressions of different cities in America. Uh, well, this should only take about 10 minutes or so. Let's see. Uh, do you mind if I tape record our interview? Oh, no, not at all. Okay, then. Carlos, why don't we start with you? What do you think of San Francisco? How do you like it here so far? It's okay, I guess. Oh, you don't sound very enthusiastic. No, no, I like it. It's just that I've been so busy studying. I haven't had much time to explore the city. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, and when I have the time, well, it's so cloudy and foggy here, especially in the summer. I never thought I'd be wearing a sweater in July. Well, this is Northern California. Hey, maybe you should move south. I hear Los Angeles is warmer. Vicky? Oh, I love it here. I think this is a beautiful city. The rolling hills, the views of the bay. It's very romantic. Yeah. So, how do you guys spend your free time? Well, I'm studying architecture and I'm somewhat of a photographer. Really? Oh, I'm just an amateur. Anyway, I, I'm always taking pictures of the buildings in the city. You know, the Victorians, the modern skyscrapers downtown. There's such a variety of buildings in the city. The architecture is really great. I've also taken pictures of other landmarks like the Golden Gate Bridge. It looks totally different when the weather changes. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, well, Vicky, it's your turn. What do you like to do? I'm a bit of a night person. There's always a new club or a film or a great outdoor cafe to check out with my friends. And we also like to explore the different neighborhoods. It's pretty easy thanks to BART. That's Bay Area Rapid Transit. Yeah, that's a great subway system. Anyway, yesterday we went to the Italian neighborhood, North Beach, to buy some pastries and have a cup of espresso. Today, I'm going down to the Mission District to get a burrito for lunch. Hey, sounds like you like to eat Mexican food. Mm, yes. And actually, I like the Mission a lot. It's a Latino neighborhood. We don't have anything like that where I come from. Uh, well, that's about it. Any final comments? No, not really. I'd just like to say that this is a great place to live. I'm glad that I got a chance to study here. Okay, quite a bit of information. Um, who likes the city better, Carlos or Vicky? Vicky. 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 Okay. Vicky. Great. Um, what is the type or what is the city feature that Carlos and Vicky mentioned? The architecture. Okay. I think that Carlos mentioned the architecture. Okay, the architecture. No problem. My bad. There we go. Architecture. Um, who likes to take pictures of different places? Carlos. Carlos. All right. And who likes to go out at night? Who, who's more of a night person? Vicky. 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 Okay. And who says that San Francisco is a great place to live? Vicky. Vicky. Okay. Let's take a look. Very good. So we have, there we go. Vicky, Vicky, correct? Carlos? Ah, okay. And then we have Vicky. So in number two, please notice that you need, in order to have it correct, you have to write about all of the things that they talk about. Yes. So, and you have to put in this correct order. Okay. I'm going to put into the chat. That way you have it in the correct order. So it has to be for question number two. It, the answer must be in this form. It must be climate, architecture, landmarks, nightlife, and finally cuisine. Okay. It's in the chat as well, just in case. Um, because if not, the platform is going to give it to you wrong if you only put one of the things that they talked about. 
Teacher, quick question. Yes. Yeah. It's okay if instead of climate, I use like weather? No. So it... <laughs> Easy answer. No. Uh, not for the not for the not for the platform and just for conversation. Oh no, actually I was talking about conversation. Ah yes, yes, yes. All right, no problem. Now let me explain the difference, Dennis. Uh, the weather is daily, the day to day. The climate is yearly or for the period. So this is the difference. So I can say you can say, how is it Salvador? Oh, we have two seasons, dry season and rainy season. This is the climate for long periods. But the weather, oh, the weather is cloudy, it's rainy, it's fog. This is the day to day. But the climate is for the long periods. That's the only technical difference. Really good to know because actually whenever we try to talk, uh, when I try to talk with people that is not from El Salvador, mm -hmm. sometimes they, they, or I used to mention that the weather is good here, so blah, blah, blah. But I didn't know that the correct for me now that that you mentioned this is that it's climate. When I try to talk about how is El Salvador and I try to describe El Salvador, I think that I should say the climate, right? Correct. Correct. When you want to talk in macro, this is the climate. In micro, okay. then it's the weather. Uh huh. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Dennis. All right. So as you can see, we are doing pretty good. We have our presentations. Um, we have the idea for the listening. We are ready to go on to the next one. But before we go to the next one, now comes the fun part. Now comes the part that you speak to your partners about the different presentations and what place sounded interesting to you. Whose presentation would you like to visit? Or whose city that they mentioned would you like to visit? What did they mention that you would like to try there? So if you remember, um, I think it was Patricia was talking about Lake Ilopango, right? And she was, oh, no, no, she, see, she was talking about the airport, the airport and la, all of the places over there in La Costa del Sol. But she also mentioned, um, she mentioned two places, not Mangladesh. What did she mention? Do you remember? I don't remember. Mm, it's a bad memory. <laughs> yeah. It's only a few minutes ago. Hi, <laughs> Patricia. Imagine, and I listen to everyone, and I pay attention to everyone, and I re mm, Patricia, tell us, what was the place? Uh, the Costa del Sol, Ichang Michen, and uh, Manantiales de Jiboa. That's the name, Manantiales. 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 Mm -hmm. You guys know what are Manantiales? Have you ever visited them? Um, to be honest, no, I've never no. visited. No, I visited Manglares, but not Manantiales. Yeah, Manglares, yeah, but mm. Manantiales. I don't know, is so. more water or less water? Or, or can you explain a little bit, Patricia? What are Manantiales? What is, if, if you have gone? Uh -huh. Manantiales de Jiboa is a, a great place uh, with... Uh, um, Pools of sight. It's, mm. it's uh, only pools uh, and uh, uh, trees. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't know how to say uh, where the place where you can put some hamacas and rest and listen to music uh, around the, uh, all the the pools okay okay so is Manantia there is no beach no no beach i see that no I, I river no beach Clubs. there is only club pool. pool it looks like only pools yes it's only very much pools okay all right i i have i've never been to that one but okay all right um, is this natural or, or is this made by man, Patricia? 
Like, is this a natural phenomenon? And then they put the, the rock and, to make the and the, the both, both uh, yeah. there are some naturals uh, like uh, each and each, okay. and uh, there are some pools uh, made by the monk. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I have to, I, I'm looking at the pictures. I'm looking at the pictures. I've never been there. I've never been there. But it, I have to say that it, it reminds me of Termos de, del Rio. Uh, yes. Uh, but, but I listened that you said there is no river there. No river. No river. Ah. <laughs> I, I'm very curious because I look at the pictures wow. and this Manantiales de Hiboa, it looks like a lot of water. So mm -hmm. I'm I don't know how they get all of the water to to produce to have. I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting. It's it. But uh, uh, really, I I went only one once, and uh, I like it. Okay, and that's it. Exactly like the example. Hey, I like. I don't know. And then hey, I didn't understand this. What? And then you ask your partner and then have your partner explain. This is the idea. You want to have a natural conversation, just like you can also be a tourist in El Salvador and ask questions. All right. So and right now we're going to make um, a few groups and we're going to try to discuss what did you like, which place did would you like to visit and things like this. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 <laughs> Let's try.
Okay. All right, great, great to have you back. All right, were there any questions, anything that you couldn't remember or anything that you wanted to comment on? Uh, yeah, actually I, I have a quick question because I'm curious about, about uh, well, something, not, not about the conversation exactly, but uh, what is the equivalent or how do you say when you graduate from here in El Salvador is I'm a bachelor, but if mm -hmm. you say like, sometimes I used to get confused because I used to think that bachelor is the same that bachelor, bachelor in, in the United States, but I think that is not the same, right? So it's something different. How do you say that I have finished or I am a bachelor or something like that in Correct. the United States? Because for them it's like high school, right? It is, it is high school, that's right. And so when you say I'm a bachelor, is is doesn't have the same feeling as it does in El Salvador. In the US is only I graduated from high school. Mm -hmm. And what is the bachelor, bachelor? Bachelor is after you go to the university uh, and you finish your, your four year studies, then you are a bachelor. Oh. So actually in the United States is, the first of the first official one is uh you graduated from high school and then you have the names so the first one is you're a graduate i graduated from high school and then the next degree the closest is an associate i have an associate in business and administration this is similar don't worry but um this is similar for um like not exactly, but it's similar to a technical degree. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit different, but it's uh, like a technical degree. The reason that it's different is because technical degrees in the U.S. are only, only for technical studies. So if you have an associate, you have you can have associates in a profession. Okay, you can, you can have an associate in accounting. You can have an associate in business administration. Uh, for example, I have an I have an associate in business administration, but is is the is the technical aspect is for people that you want to get just a little bit of information, or maybe you want to include, or you want to start working quickly. All right, then after the associate is the bachelor's degree, so it's like technical associates, then bachelor's degree, which is four years in El Salvador is the five-year degree. Then it's the master's degree. And fact, and finally, it's your uh, doctoral degree. Mm -hmm. Okay, good mm -hmm. to know. And in for American culture and Canadian culture, really the others, uh, there is no equivalent and nobody cares, licenciado. The only degree of importance is doctor. If you are not a doctor, you are nothing. There is no, there is no degree. No, oh, la licenciada Evelyn Ceron. No, who, I don't care. You're Evelyn, Evelyn. Ah, she's the boss. Exactly. It's still Evelyn. She has a master's degree. So it's still Evelyn. Unless Evelyn has a doctor, doctor is the only one where the people say, okay, you reach a high level. Everything else, you are low level. Mm -hmm. So, and it's it's not to be bad about Salvadorians. It's only the culture. Because in El Salvador, before, to reach the level of university was a high level, right? But now it's a lot of people. A lot of people is get the degree. So now it's like, ah, so listen, so nah. now the, the value of the degree is not the same because now you have so many of them. So now the next level, little by little, you're going to see that the next level, people don't use the title anymore. People are going to say, oh, hi, my name is Rafael. My name is Javier. Oh. And the people assume if you have a position of administration, supervisor, coordinator, you are, you have a degree. So, mm-hmm. It's only for a little bit of our culture, but thank you for asking, Dennis. This is the only way to make sure. Sometimes it's not the English, it's the culture that we need to understand. 
Mm -hmm. no, exactly. And thank you, teacher, because, yeah, that helps a lot. I, I like to speak with other people, with native people or native speakers. And sometimes I try to, uh, how do you say, I try to, to share uh, some some information about me but how do you say that that they are going to understand what you are talking about because it's not just the language so mm -hmm. the culture is is very important i have i have learned that the culture to communicate with native people is is really important oh yeah yeah and here because we are salvadorians we understand if i say nicole le, let's go to the movies for Salvadorian culture, Nicole understands I pay. American culture, Nicole understands in American culture is only to come with me. It's only to a company, but not that I pay. Nicole pay for herself. I pay for myself. But in Salvadorian culture, for not even Salvadorian, to be honest, in Latin American culture, the moment I tell you, you understand I pay, even if it's a man. If I say, Rafael, let's go for a beer. Rafael, for Latin culture, hey, he invites me, he pays. But in the American culture, no, you only accompany me, but you pay for you and I pay for me. It's only invitation to join in the activity. So just little things that sometimes uh, when you meet a native speaker or something, you have to be careful because you think, oh, hey, they say, hey, come with us. No, no, not necessary. They, they invite to pay you. They, they, they only invite for you to go, but you have to pay for yourself. Okay. Well, guys, I have to say thank you so much. I know that it's so hard to join on Friday. It's okay. I expected the class to be small. I know that Friday is more difficult. Uh, it's the last Friday. The next ones, we don't have to join. But thank you so much. Have a great weekend. And uh, we'll talk on Monday. Everybody enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Okay, bye. bye.